Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn about AirPrint on the iPad. So my new book, My iPad 2, is out and available in stores and online. It includes sections on all the basics you need to know to use your iPad 2, including of course a section on printing. Let's look at that. So the first thing you need is a printer compatible with AirPrint. It's got to be a Wi-Fi printer, of course, and you can find a list at apple.com of all the printers compatible. It only shows HP printers now being compatible. And I got this one, the HP PhotoSmart D110. Now, of course, once you get one of these printers, the first step is to set it up. You usually have to follow the instructions to set it up as a Wi-Fi printer, enter in the password for your Wi-Fi network. Then you may want to test it using your Mac or PC. You should be able to print to it. You may have to install some HP drivers or if it's another type of printer, the drivers that come with it. So follow the instructions, make sure it's working on your computer as a Wi-Fi printer, and then go and try to get it working on your iPad. So to print, you have to go into an application. There are no print settings in the Settings app. So let's just launch Safari and go into that. And you can print any page by clicking on the button at the very top and selecting Print. Now it should automatically recognize any AirPrint printers that you've got attached to your network, the same network that your iPad is on. You can select the printer and it will take a look at it. If you have multiple printers on your network it will allow you to jump and choose another one. You can adjust the number of copies and that's pretty much all you could set. And Then you can hit Print. So let's look at a slightly different example. I'm going to click here on this PDF which is a printable at MacMost and I'm going to print that so you can see you can print PDFs as well. Uh, now I've actually got a range of pages because I'm printing a PDF. Turns out there's only one page here but you can see the options do change every once in a while. Now if I hit print here's what's going to happen. If I double click on the home button I can see there's a print center app that appears and now I can see a print summary and a cancel printing. In the background I can hear the actual printer going and I can see the status. It's printing one of one and it will show when it's completely done. Now note that different apps work in different ways. So for instance if I go into Pages and here I am. This is just the, the sample document. Uh, I can go to the top here and there's that Wrench button and that's where I'll find the Print. And here it gives me a range of pages and I can print just like before. So sometimes you've got to kind of search, especially with third party apps, uh, looking for the actual button that will bring up the print options. A lot of apps don't have any kind of print functionality. Some are surprising like Calendar and Contacts. Uh, you can't print from those. But like an application like Maps, say if you really wanted to print the map, what you could do is hold the Home button and the Wake Sleep button at the same time. That takes a screenshot. Then you can go into your Photos app. In the camera roll you can find that screenshot that you just took and you can print from there. Now if you don't have an AirPrint compatible printer there are some ways to cheat. If you have a Mac you can get some third party applications that will take printers connected to your Mac and turn them into AirPrint printers and will show up on your iPad when you go to print. I'll include a list of links to some of this software at this post at MacMost.com. There's a quick look at printing on the iPad with AirPrint. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.